that one day the public would see that morals had loosened since they had suppressed me. Hello there, I'm Jennifer Hamilton. Um, I'm the director and for my sins the designer of this show. Orpheus in the Underworld is a sort of outrageous comic farce of an operetta. Very naughty, very French. Um, it's about the story of Orpheus, which is normally in, in very serious operas, who goes down into the underworld to retrieve his dead wife and he's heartbroken. In Offenbach's version, he's delighted to get rid of her and she's delighted to go because they both have other interests. Now today what we've been doing is the technical, so that all the kind of thunder effects and the going down to hell and all these kind of crazy things that we actually do the nuts and bolts of them. It's, it's just part of technical rehearsal so that hopefully, eventually, when you see the show, uh, you'll see all these marvellous, crazy effects and it'll all work smoothly, I hope. We've just been working on Act One where Eurydice has, has uh, gone off with Pluto. She doesn't know he's the king of the underworld. She thinks he's just a nice guy who keeps bees across the road from her. And uh, he's opened the top of his cabbage patch and down below is a boiling cauldron of hell. So they've just gone off down there. After lunch, we're going to do a big scene change, which we have to organise, that's another thing. Uh, all the students are going to be doing that, so everybody's hands-on here. And we're going to be doing a scene change into Act 2, which is up in Olympus, which is a kind of groovy, hippie pad belonging to all the gods and goddesses of Olympus, uh, where Jupiter is up there. He's been philandering also, it's that kind of offer. Uh, and his wife is furious with him. Anyway, the next thing that's going to happen is Orpheus is going to go up to Olympus to ask for permission to go down to hell. Hell happens, the underworld happens in the third act, and that of course is where all the fun happens. That's where people get to eat red meat, which they can't do up in Olympus. They only drink ambrosia, which they're all sick to the back teeth of. Down in hell they get to eat red meat and they get to dance the can-can. So yes, I, for anybody who hears this or sees this video, this is a very good fun night out. It's not highbrow, but it is a piece that's done by all the international opera companies, so it's absolutely legit as a piece of opera or operetta, but it's very good fun. It's happening here in the Gleason Theatre in Kevin Street, in the DIT building. You can get tickets at the door. It starts at half past seven and it's on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th of February. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, obviously, the sooner you arrive, the better seats you're going to get. There's very good seats upstairs in the balcony, but there's good seats downstairs as well. <laughs>